guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all well. Um, and uh, let me know what's going on. Um, right, so today we're going to do my England Euro 2016 team. So, uh, the, in the week, uh, Rohoshan picked his team to play in the friendlies against Germany and Netherlands, I think. And um, a bit controversial on a couple players. But I'm going to go through my team on the team that I will take to the Euros. And yeah, so. Um, so is it, um, you can only take 23 players to the Euros. So I'm going to go for the 23 players, but a couple of players are spares because you know players might get injured and things like that happen. So um, right, so my first, I go for goal, goalkeepers and I go down the list. So uh, my three goalkeepers, I think you've got no arguments about this. Obviously, Joe Hart's been um, England's number one for a few years now, and. Um, He's not well class, you know. There's much better goalkeepers out there, but um, yeah, he's okay. So uh, probably Joe Hart will be number one. But we've got Jack Butland coming on the scene there. He's had a, a pretty good season at Sunderland. Um, he's, I think, in the another year or two, he could be the the number one. He's got a uh, good potential. He's young, which is good. So he's got uh, room to improve. And he's playing first team football for uh, Stoke. So. Um, yeah, so um, I go Hart and Butland, and the third um, goalkeeper, uh, Fraser, Fraser Forster uh, at Southampton. Obviously, he's yeah, had an injury through um, the middle of the season, a uh, real bad in um, injury, but he's come back and had like five clean sheets in a row, which is incredible. Um, so he's definitely worth a shout for the um, goalkeeper spot. I don't think he probably will play because. Um, Joe Hart probably will play, but Butland and Foster. So that's my three uh, goalkeepers. Let me know if um, you think there should be other goalkeepers. I don't think there's many choices for goalkeepers. So we go to right back. Um, go for the same right back Hodgson uh, picked. Uh, Klein and Walker. Klein played midweek uh, against Man United. It wasn't. He was really poor that game, but he's been quite consistent throughout the season, and he's quite. It's my, it'd be my in my uh, first team. It's very solid um, and gets in for the ball. Um, and obviously, you've got Carl Walker, Topland player. Um, he's got a fantastic pace going down that wing, and he's a good, different bit of right back. They're not exactly the same. He's got pace, and he's like kind of like a gladiator. I get stuck in. Walker's got the pace. Uh, Walker's got the pace in that. So yeah, that's my right back. Uh, Set the back positions. Um, I picked four centre backs. Um, obviously, um, I'm saying obviously too much. Um, my, I would like as my main centre backs is Cahill and Stones. Uh, obviously, Cahill at Chelsea hasn't had the best of seasons, but um, the last month or so is getting into the team. Got one or two goals and it's, it's picking up a bit of consistency, a bit of form. So hopefully, he can bring that into the Euros. So, definitely Cahill. Obviously, Stones, because he's a young uh, English defender. And uh, earlier he's in the first team. Better he become as an international player. So, hopefully, they pick him. But you, you've also got Smallin and uh, Jackie Elka. I've also picked. Jackie Elka is a bit of um, a bit of injury throughout the season. He probably might go for the experience of uh, Cahill and Jackie Elka. But, yeah, I prefer... Uh, Cahill and the Stones, to be honest. Um, left back position. So this is where uh, a bit of controversy about. Um, four of the team for the friendlies coming up. Hodgson picked Bertrand and Danny Rose. Um, Danny Rose has had a, a good season for Tottenham. Um, it's not the best, I so. And obviously got Bertrand as well. He's had the same sort of season as Rose, up and down sort of thing. Um, obviously Rose has been in and out of the Tottenham team with uh, Ben Davies. But I picked um, Leighton Baines and Kieran Gibbs. But, all right, obviously, Leighton Baines is the best left-back for England. He's had an injury season, so maybe he's not picked him because he's just come back from injury. Hopefully, he'll be in the team for the Euros. Um, so, I've put Baines, probably the, as the first choice left-back. And I've picked Kieran Gibbs, a bit biased as they asked fan. But if he doesn't pick Kieran Gibbs, I'd like to put him to pick Aaron Creswell of uh, West Ham. West Ham have had a fantastic season. I don't know why a West Ham player is not in the England squad. Obviously, not the fantastic players. You obviously got Antonio's and the under 21s, not ready for the uh, senior squad yet. But I think 
press wall could be a shout, you know, because I've got fantastic left foot. Obviously, left backs are not the best choice uh, for England. I like up and down sort of thing players. But I think Aaron Cresswell should be given a chance for the England squad. Centre mid um, positions. I've picked five centre mids. Um, there's a reason behind this because normally um, England managers or Hodgson does a 4 5 1 or a 4 3 3 and it tends to be more central midfielders. And central midfielders ain't a bad thing to go into the Euro. So you've got your. Um, Midfield jam packed with players. Hopefully, you do a bit of passing along. Uh, so, obviously, 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 um, I've picked Henderson. Um, he's had a shaky season with Liverpool, but I think he's one of the solid centre mids we've got for England. Uh, James Milner, always been in that the England squad. Uh, solid player, um, all rounder, really. Gets stuck in throughout the 90 minutes, so I'll definitely pick him. Adam Lalana of Liverpool as well. Um, Lalana, um, it's got great potential. I think it's 23, 24. He's just hit his prime, getting into the first team at Liverpool now, and yeah, he could pick up a few goals in the team. So I, I think he should be uh, given a chance. Also, um, Deli Ali. Um, yeah, I don't. I, he's at Tottenham. I'm not a big fan of him as everyone else is, but he has been doing well for him, so he sh should be given a chance for England. Um, not probably in the, in the uh, first t first choice players, um, you know, the first team, yeah, but he'd definitely be in and out of the team. Um, if he's in the team there, longer, over the years he progresses, he could be a, fan, a good England player. So, and my last choice for centre mid is uh, Danny Drinkwater. Um, he's obviously in the uh, Rodgers' friendly team, and... Um, He's had a fantastic season for Leicester. If you just go on YouTube and click on um, uh, Danny Drinkwater's passing, his passing ability this season is probably one of the best. Uh, Ping the balls from the midfield upwards. So I definitely, I would hope, uh, not hope, but I think he should be given a chance in the friendly. Uh, even if not against Germany, against uh, Netherlands. Just to see how well we can play in this thing as well. He could be a fantastic player, who knows. Um, left mid spot. Um, I've picked Sterling, obviously um, he would probably be the first choice for uh, Rod Hodgson. Um, he's a, a controversial player, um, he's got a lot of pace, he can do a bit of skill but he can be a bit slacking sometimes. But Sterling on the left mid, we've also got Danny Welbeck. See, uh, even at Arsenal, Man United and England, Welbeck is, is like a striker slash left mid. So he, he could be a, a versatility player. Um, yeah, so. Well, it probably won't be first choice, but it'd be good to bring on left mid for us um, in replace of Sterling or right front. So, uh, well back as well. Uh, on the right wing, um, there's not many choices for right, wing, right wings, but um, I'll pick Walcott and Oxlade Chamberlain. Um, throughout the, the England players, there's not many choices for right wings. Obviously, you've got Aaron Lennon coming back for Evan, but I don't think he's um, international quality now. Um, so, um, yeah, so I think Walcott and Ox. Uh, Oxley Chamberlain's injured at the moment, but I think hopefully in time for the Euros he'd be okay and we could do well with him. Um, Hodgson's a big fan of Ox, so hopefully he'll be in the team. And he, I'm quite glad he's injured, but um, he could be uh, bring something different to the team. A bit similar to Walcott, but Ox is more of a impact player in my opinion. So we've got now to the strikers. Um, obviously, uh, Rooney's going to go to his team. I'm not a big fan of Rooney this season. It's not really given a heart and desire. But Rooney's the captain, so he'll be coming. Um, Harry Kane, um, obviously been in the team uh, since last season. Um, and he's a good player. I don't think he's hit the height yet of international football. But give him a couple of years. He could be a really good international and hopefully take the prior place of Rooney. I'm not like... A bad thing about Rooney, but maybe because he's in the main United team, he hasn't showed his true colours this season. But hopefully, he can main United become better next season, and he can produce better football. But hopefully, he can bring better football into the Euros for England to do well. So we've got Rooney, Kane, and there's only one other bloke, Jamie Vardy. Um, Vardy, he was the first player I picked before anyone because he 100% should give him a chance to the Euros. And yeah, he should um, 
I think he should be in the first team, but I don't. He's about 28, 29, so it's hard to say. But I'm going to quickly pick my 11. Um, so my starting 11 for the Euros, basically. See Hart and Goal, Klein right back. Cahill Stones in the centre, uh, in the middle, uh, left back Bangs uh, in the midfield. I'm gonna have three in the midfield, so I'm gonna have Henderson, Drinkwater, and Lalana. On the left, we'll have Sterling. On the right, I have Oxley Chamberlain, and up front, I'd like to say Vardy, but it probably be Rooney. So that's my starting eleven. Um, all of my players I picked for um, the team will be in the uh, description below. Yeah, I hope you like it. Uh, this video. Um, maybe nearer to the Euros, I'll do another uh, do it again, see if I change a few players. And, pardon me, um, see if um, maybe I'll do other teams, see what other teams and players are going to bring. And have a, study them and I'll do another video about it, maybe a, the French team. Don't know, let me know in the description below. And uh, if you like it, uh, if you like the videos, please like, subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching this um, video, um, I really appreciate it. So, have a nice day. And um, have a nice Sunday. See you later.